Hi guys, we haven't been able to get together for a little while because of COVID and when we do get together, it's some kind of Zoom or, or team meeting or something like that, which isn't the same and we all know that. But a couple of things we want you to know as, uh, as we kind of turn toward the, uh, the end of summer and getting ready for fall. Now, I'm trying to think of a good way to tell you this, but, but I don't know how to tell you this. But here is the new reality, and here's what everybody is dealing with, okay? One, nobody has a clue what the future looks like. Uh, all the people that who are supposed to know don't know. All the people who are telling you they know, well, they have to retract it the next week. And one of the things that I know I'm tired of, and I know you're tired of, is making plans, assuming certain things, and then getting a report from the county or the state or some health department saying, no, it's not that way, it's this way. And so we don't know right now if the kids are going back to school. We don't know how they will go back to school. We don't know the pressure that this will put on our families trying to juggle what they're doing with their kids. Um, we don't know when we will be fully released to have church as we have had it in the past. Right now they're kind of phasing that in. Uh, groups of over 100 or so or uh, half capacity or that kind of thing. Here's what we do know. Uh, Andy Stanley and other church leaders are coming out and saying that they're not going to have um, any kind of, of group gatherings, worship services. They're not going to get together until January of 2021. Now, this is not a new thing. There are other organizations telling us uh, the same thing. Uh, Lollapalooza, the big producer of concerts, they're coming out and saying that they do not see a new concert happening before 2022. So, what does that mean? We don't know. But here's what we do have to do. One, stop thinking about, quote, when things get back to normal, quote, when the kids go back to school. We're going to have to start acting like we're never going to get back in the building. So, what would happen to your ministry? What would happen to the way that you do church if we did not have the building. Now, here's the good news. We've been doing this for thousands of years. We've been doing this really well for thousands of years. In fact, you can point to some of the great movements across history, and they've been done without being centered in a church building. Uh, the Wesley revivals and the small group movement, the growth of the church in China, all of those are based on small groups. So how are you gonna do church using online, using video, uh, using all kinds of social media, and using small groups where you can get together so that you can make disciples. The scorecard has never been about attendance. It's not about how many people you can get into the building. It's about how many disciples you send out. That's always been the mark of success. So hear me. Stop thinking about we're waiting till we get back in the building. We don't know when that will happen. Stop thinking about, well, when the kids go back to school, we don't know when that will happen. Now, if, when it does happen, hey, don't worry. We know how to do church in a building. We can do that with our eyes closed. Honestly, it'll come back just like swimming. But for right now, you and I are going to have to assume that we're never getting back in the building, and we're going to have to find a way to do it. Now, a lot of you have been sitting around scratching notes going, you know, if I didn't have to do X, then we could really do Y and that would make a difference. <laughs> Guess what? We can't do X, so you're going to have to figure out why. I'm telling you this, one, to tell you that, one, everybody is as scared as you are. Two, nobody knows any more than you do. But you do know your people, and you do know where they are, and you do know what they need. So, assume we're not getting back into the building for the foreseeable future and find a way to make disciples. This is going to be a fun and creative and life-transforming time. And believe it or not, we're going to look back at this and say, you know, that was one of the greatest times ever because here's what we saw the Lord did. I'm looking forward to hearing your story, and I'll talk to you soon.